Hey everybody, sorry about my apparel at the moment. I got off work a really long shift, so I'm kind of fatigued. I had a very odd dream last night. Uh, and I just thought I should share it. I've had some really odd dreams over the last god few months especially but um this one was a little strange i was um i was here in this world and uh i don't know if i was myself or not but um i was going into this museum and it was kind of like a broken down museum it wasn't in very good shape it was kind of dilapidated like it seemed like it was in an area we weren't supposed to be in at the moment and um it had all of this um all of these items from like this time period there were like lego figurines like harry potter lego figurines and stuff i'm not even a big harry potter fan but it was like in glass cases and then things like michael jackson's jacket and a couple other items there were books there were movies posters from uh from this time period and things that really affected people like back to the future set type items it was just um like historical stuff as well and it was just kind of like a museum that was showing a bunch of things that we had dealt with in this time period and um I went in there and I found this book and uh it was a book uh, like a playbook to a movie and it was kind of like um it was showing pictures of like um special features and like the the making of a film and it seemed like it felt like a Kevin Costner film that I was looking at pictures of I don't know why kind of odd um but um there was this um like a space station in the sky and um it was kind of like a uh, it was very odd to explain but it was close enough to see it was in the atmosphere and it was very large. It was almost the size of the moon from perspective, from our perspective, but, um, it was much closer than that. You could see definitions of it. And, um, I got the feeling that there were people living on it and possibly other creatures at the time living on it. I'm not, I don't know. I'm not sure. I didn't know about that one, but it seemed like there was some sort of, um, there was a lot of things, a lot of rules coming to us from that area, from that space station, as I would call it. And it had a very odd shape to it. And, um, like a center with a bunch of rings and stuff, and we could see it. And, um, like you could see the glow of the sun on it during the day. And, uh, as I was looking through this book, I found a, um, plastic bag type object that was attached to the book. And, um, it had a necklace inside of it, a metal necklace with like a chain, like a really bulky kind of chain and a rhinestone emblem on the end. And I couldn't see it cause it was flipped upside down. I hadn't gotten to that page yet, but it was attached to the book through the top and it was like a portion of the book and I was feeling it and I kind of started to know what the emblem was. And so I tried to flip the emblem around inside the bag and it was a, um, it was a, a picture of Jesus, a, a rhinestone picture of, of Jesus. And it was kind of like one of those weird photos of Jesus where he's like <laughs> the really odd Jesus. It didn't look like a very holy type, like, you know, um, uh, back in the Catholic church or back during the Spanish inquisition, it didn't seem like one of those type of art. Um, it, it was more like, um, something, uh, someone on the streets back in, I grew up in Phoenix. So like some, something, someone on the streets would wear someone who, um, uh, like a, a, a hoodlum would wear a, a street kid, a gangster would wear, um, something even I or other people I knew would wear. And, uh, it was very showy, very flashy. And it was like rhinestones with a very thick chain. And when I saw it, I, um, I recognized the face. And it seemed like, it's like I knew all of a sudden that I wasn't supposed to have this. 
and that it was like other people had um like other people didn't know who this person was it's like it was illegal like we weren't allowed to talk about this we weren't allowed to talk about Jesus Christ or anything like that and um that's what was very odd about the dream and I just knew that I had this object and I wasn't supposed to have it. I wasn't supposed to be looking at it and I wouldn't be allowed to talk about it. And for some reason I wanted to take it. I really wanted to take it. So I contemplated it and thought about it and I kept feeling like something inside of me and the dream was telling me, well, if I take this and people find out about it, um, it'll spread like wildfire. And, um, people are going to get hurt over it. People are going to get in trouble. They'll get questioned. They'll get, um, tortured. Uh, it would eventually come back to me and I'd get in trouble if they found it. If they, anybody found out about it, um, I would be in very big trouble, but I felt like it was something I had to do. And so I, I ripped the plastic out of the book and I took the necklace and, uh, I just, I felt like I was going to get in trouble for doing this. Like, even for being in this museum, even for being in this location, I didn't feel like it was something that I should be doing, but there were other people there. And I don't know how well I knew them. It seemed like I kind of knew them, but they were checking things out too. And I just, I took this and, um, I woke up kind of for a second and then I went back to sleep. And when I went back to sleep, uh, it was like I was teaching in a, um, I was teaching in a, uh, or taking care of children in a homeless shelter for, it seemed like for children that had lost their families or had been taken from their families. I don't know what from, but, um, it was just a facility where there were a bunch of children and there were other adults and not a whole lot of elders, but some elders that, um, not very old, but, um, elder enough. To where it didn't seem like there were a lot of those around. A lot of um, elderly folk like we have now. Like our grandparents. They seemed um, a little bit younger. But weathered. And um, we were taking care of these kids. And it was like people found out about this necklace. And got really hyper about it. And really excited about it. And um, the little kids kind of liked it but the 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 older ones that were almost adults a lot of them didn't they it's like they knew they they either didn't know who it was or they knew it was bad and um I I um it's like I got reported and for some reason other people found out quicker than I could say anything than I than I could do anything about and before I knew it I was getting calls from um like instant calls from family members and from other um, people that seemed like they were family members to me at the time and other people and they were uh, that I knew and they were basically disowning me, telling me that I couldn't, that I'm uh, disrupting children, that I'm corrupting children when all, all I was doing was having a necklace and hiding it. And um, somebody had found out about it and thought it was real pretty and asked what it was and I told them the name and it just, it spread around and within a few hours I got in severe trouble and um I don't know what happened after that the dream ended but it was just kind of it was kind of odd because the whole time you know we could see that this space station type object with these rings um in the atmosphere and it's it's seemed like a lot of people were living there not a whole lot but enough and like we were receiving a lot of our rules from people that were in this location and everything seemed kind of monitored like the life uh, there was technology but the life didn't seem very good quality and it seemed like everything was kind of monitored and it didn't take long once you got into a city center or once word spread it didn't take but a few hours if that before um people started finding out about this kind of stuff and it was just kind of odd, kind of a weird dream that, um, I find this necklace with a picture of 
Jesus Christ. And like, it wasn't even a good picture. It was just like, like one of those mimicking kind of pictures, you know, it was just like a, um, but it, it was definitely Jesus. And I knew that it was something that I couldn't have and that I couldn't talk about and that I shouldn't even, that I should like take and destroy or that I should leave alone and leave in that library or that museum. But I didn't. And I took it. And I felt like it was something I needed to do. And I felt very proud about it. Which is strange. Because I I wasn't a Christian for a very long time. Um, I just came to it a few years ago. Through some circumstances. And I've just been... Um, I've had a few rough weeks. And uh, my family's been struggling a lot. We've lost seven family members in the last year. There's been a lot that's been happening. And so the last few... Weeks I've been struggling, and last night I was trying to, um, I felt very tortured, so, and very lost, so I was trying to pray before I went to bed, and I wound up saying, um, the Lord's Prayer, just for protection, because I, I know it, and, um, it makes me feel calmer when I feel like I'm kind of being pushed around by the spirit realm, and so I, um, that was a very odd dream that I had. And I just felt like I needed to share it. There's there's a bunch more that uh, don't make sense, but make a lot of sense. And But now is not the time for it. I just figured this would be a quick excerpt to be able to put out there to people and see if other people have kind of had similar dreams. You guys take care.